found in the movie world a loose screen adaptation that chronicles the stories of terrorism in Nigeria's Northeast titled Voiceless is set for the big screens. The Robert Peters action-drenched movie screens exclusively in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, ahead of its arrival to the cinemas over the weekend. Details coming up in this next report. As Nollywood recovers from the COVID-19 break, the theaters begin buzzing again. With face masks of varying colors and sizes, a recurring theme. Movie critics enjoy the first viewing of the Robert Peters directed action depiction of the unrest in northern Nigeria. Gunshots, murder, kidnapping and rape stories were told as a society fell to terrorists. Inspired by true events, Voiceless tells the story of Salma, played by Asabe Maraki and Goni, two victims captured by a dreaded terrorist gang. The latter, forced to work for insurgents as a skilled mechanic, and the former, kidnapped alongside her fellow schoolgirls to serve the group's lusts and drive home the agenda against Western education. Salma is an advocate. She's a go-getter. She, she's a fighter, basically. She doesn't give up. And um, she loves people. She loves family, she loves her friends, you know. Um, so for me, preparing for that character, I tried to understand who Selma is, and then I understood that she went through a lot. So I knew that um, playing that character was going to be a lot of emotion for me, emotions, you know, because it's a sad story, really. And it's something that happened to people for real, so it was just an emotional, um, project for me. Basically, when things like this happen, like insurgency for example, and kidnapping which is very much happening in the north right now, the women are the most hit because the women are actually defenseless. They need protection, you know, they depend on the men, they depend on the family and then the children now depend on the women. So the women suffer a lot and they need protection, they need care, they need love. So when situations like this happen, I believe that women should be empowered. They should be empowered, they should be educated, because if you educate one woman, you are educating a nation. That's the implication of that, because we women, we multiply, we give. So that's, that's what I would advise, that the community, the society, the government should empower more women, they should educate more women, it's very important. And then like for the victims who are the male, I think that um, society, especially in terms of insurgency like this, society should take them back, show them love, rehabilitate them, you know, and also empower them. Yakubu Mohammed plays the fierce sect leader Lafia, who gave all his command through the more aggressive and power-hungry Banza, played by Uzi Usman. During shooting, Yakubu and other cast feared for their lives. Actually, when I got the script from the producers, I was a bit skeptical because I was actually literally, um, I was afraid because of, you know, what is been going on in the Northeast. So, but I said to myself that um, I'm an actor and um, somebody somewhere has to tell that story. We have to bring uh, what is going on before the public so that they'll understand what these people are going through. If you check it out, it's not everyone that willingly wants to join the insurgents. Some of them have been forced into it. And, um, you know, they go through hell and when they are being released, when they come back to the society and the society, most of the times they will not want to accept them. So we need to bring these things and uh, if there's a room for rehabilitation and we have to shed light to our people. We are not encouraging people like, oh, because uh, you are a Boko Haram, you have to be accepted. But we are telling them they are equally human beings. It's not out of their will that they happen to be part of that, found themselves in that, in that access. So basically this is it. It's, the most, it's actually the most challenging career, role that I've ever done in my entire career as a, as a movie actor. I was actually afraid when, I, when we were even shooting because after the makeup they had to change my skin color. They have to put a lot of things on my face to look a bit, you know, more... Um, because if you check me now, I don't, I'm not too dreadful, you understand? So they had to do... So immediately I found my... I entered costume, I became so afraid, I was doing it. And I was like, wow, wow, because it was scary actually when we were even shooting it. 
So Jojo Master. Voiceless is something totally different. This is the first, I think this is the first time they're doing a natural story, story that happened naturally, deeply. You know, if you watch it, you understand what I mean. It's 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 we as when we're filming, we're feeling it. We as we're filming. I remember most of those cast you're seeing, they were crying while we were filming. If we are shooting some scenes, they would cry. They would have to stop at times and go for the other day. Because they keep crying because most of them, those things happen to them naturally. Especially those ladies. Almost all of them, one way or the other, they have encountered such things. So that's to tell you how deep the story is. So we, I think Voiceless is something that is, is coming to tell both viewers and filmmakers that Nigerian content, local content, is here to change for good. We are now trying to compete internationally in terms of picture, sound, and story by making our own reality story of what really happened to us. You know, so I think our advice will make us to, from Voiceless, they can step up, they can step up, and they can step up. Voiceless will hit the big screens later this month.